You've no doubt seen those brightly colored stickers placed on cars parked illegally on sides of roads around here. Well, one Meridian family says someone placed stickers on several of their cars, but it wasn't from the city. One of those stickers had profanity on it. Our Shira Matsuzawa looked into their story and whether this is considered a crime or just a neighborhood nuisance. Very unsettling. Last month, Melissa Medina and her sister Vanessa were at home when their dad went to move his car and saw this, a sticker plastered to his car window. And it said, um, warning, like illegal parking, your car will be towed in English and in Spanish. And my dad was really confused because it was parked in front of our driveway. Moments later, they discovered a sticker on Melissa's car. And in the middle of it written in Sharpie was no double parking. And we were really confused because that parking is completely open. It's neighborhood parking. Anyone can park there. Fast forward a few weeks and it happened again, this time to Vanessa's car. But this sticker included some profanity. It's kind of scary because it's like one of our cars, it was parked in front of our driveway. So if they were willing, like in the middle of the night, essentially like come up to our driveway and put stickers on our cars, like what else could they do? The family reported what happened to Meridian police both times and filed a police report. But is an act like this considered vandalism? Meridian Police Patrol Lieutenant Brian Caldwell says potentially. It only could be considered a crime if there was some kind of damage to the vehicle itself. So if the decal was put on in a way that when it was removed, it caused damage to the paint or, or something about the car, then it, then it might rise to a level of a criminal level. He adds it could also be considered disorderly conduct or a trespassing issue if someone went onto private property, but it would depend on the situation. So what should you do or what can you do if you ever experience something like this? If they feel that, you know, that their property has been damaged or that, you know, that, that someone has, has, has broken a law or done something against them, they should call us, you know, and, and let us let us make that determination. In Melissa and Vanessa's case, they say they don't know who did this and the stickers damage the tint on their dad's truck and scratch the window and windshield on Melissa's car. They say it also cost them $200 to get the stickers properly removed. We've lived in Meridian almost all our lives and this has never happened to us before. And it's just so bizarre that now we don't feel safe in our own neighborhood. And if someone were caught in this case, Lieutenant Caldwell says it would be deemed a misdemeanor, which would carry some level of fines and potential jail time, but that would be highly unlikely in this specific case. He adds, this seems to be an isolated incident, and in the last year, they've had just other two other reports of a similar incident, and he recommends the family update the police report they filed to include information about any damage caused to their cars. Now, the family tells me they've since installed a camera to keep an eye out, and they say they wish whoever was behind this would have just come talk to them first instead of damaging their cars. Mark? Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that camera on the front porch. Neighbors probably have them as well, but apparently those cars weren't close enough to set off the a trigger to trigger those cameras. Right, and I asked them about, you know, if they know who their neighbors are, per se to who did this and they told me that they don't you know their neighbors kind of keep to themselves and they have different schedules so they're really not sure who who was behind this okay it'd be fun to, uh, nice not fun it'll be nice to see how this all ends Shira thank you